Okay, so let's take our first steps in our whole bead exercises. Um, hopefully you already know how all this works. If not, then go back and check that all out. But um, now we're gonna apply it to the fretboard. To start with our B, E, A, D notes on our E string. And then we're gonna end up adding in the G, C, F also. But uh, we have to find our notes on the, the low E string first. And uh, just to review a little bit, this is gonna help you with um, finding all your notes. You know, we're gonna do the same thing on the, uh, you know, on the E string. And then we're going to do the same thing on the A string later on. I'm going to mix them up and stuff. And this is just really going to solidify all your notes on the E and A strings. And we're going to work on the rest of them too. But um, but for now, we're focusing on those strings. And actually, for now, we're focusing on the E string only. So, first step is pretty easy. You're just going to find your B, E, A, D. So, B is right here at the 7th fret. So you're gonna play that. Then E, that's our open string. Or if you really want to, you can go over here to the 12th fret right there. And that's an E also, so that's another option you can do. Just try them both out, see what you like. So we had um, our B, E, the next one's A, and that's right there at the fifth fret. And then finally, D right here at the 10th fret so um <clears throat> that's what you're going to do you just find those and then you just got to keep repeating it over and over again b e a d b e a d you want your goal is to play it nice and even just like that e a D. Now, of course, in the beginning, you're going to end up having to um, <clears throat> stall and stop and find the notes and everything. Um, <clears throat> one thing you want to make sure you avoid uh, as much as you can, and you're going to have to do this at the very beginning, but try to avoid counting up E, F, G, A, B. Again, in the very beginning, you'll probably have to do that. But as soon as possible, try to really memorize where at least one note is further up on the neck like a is a good one and then you can go ahead and then find you know your g is going to be a whole step down from a your b is going to be a whole step step up from b uh, b would be a good one since we're starting with it that'd be actually an even better one to to check out so um so yeah so that the goal is by the end is be able to play along with it um, B E A D B E A D, just like that. Now, um, what you want to do is get that pretty good. You can try it with put on a metronome or something, um, and see if you can on each click you can hit it. Um, but the even more fun way to do it is to just play along with the backing track. So put that backing track on and just play along. So, uh, so yep, you got that, and what you, what you do from there, you don't have to have it perfect, you know, you don't have to get it like up to like really fast speed before you move on to the GCF, that's going to be our next notes. Um, but you know, get comfortable with it, that's what you're looking for, is just to get comfortable. And then from there, what we're going to do is we are moving to GCF, and we're going to just repeat this the same process find the G which is at the third fret C is up at the eighth fret and then F is at the first fret and then again just run through it G C F now there's three notes here so when we end up playing along with the backing track you're gonna have to play the F for two measures so what's gonna be is G for a uh, beat, C for one beat, and then F for two beats. So uh, let me go back here. So if I count this, this will be one, two, three, 
four. So you, so you got to count this for two beats there. And then, yeah, all you're going to do is repeat that over. G, C, F. G, C, F. And just keep doing that over and over again. And uh, again, you say follow the same process, just going through it, you know, just getting familiar with where the notes are and get pretty comfortable with it. You know, use a metronome, try to hit it on the on each beat if you can. And remember in that there's going to be one more beat on that F. And then finally, putting on the backing track and then playing along with that. And then you start at a slow speed and then build it up. So, uh, so yeah, get those two. And it's, meanwhile, keep practicing the, uh, the B, E, A, D too. Just kind of keep bouncing back and forth. So the final thing here is we're going to put it all together. So you want to want to find B E A D G C F. So again, you can just start by just finding them at first. Don't worry about the backing track, you know, just go through it and okay, B E A D G C F. And then you're just going to keep repeating that B E A D G C F. And then remember that's two beats. So it'll be F note or F B G C E uh, uh, B B E A D G C F B G B E A D G C F, B, you know, and so forth. And you just kind of repeat that over and over again. And again, throw on that backing track and try to play along with it. And then this is where you're going to try and so you're going to start slow and build up. And then, yeah, you want to get this to a pretty good tempo. It's basically, if you can go kind of like that was, was pretty good. So if you go like B, E, A, D, G, C, F. kind of if you can do that around that tempo that that's pretty good and uh but yeah that'll be more, more fun too when you put the uh track on and then you can just play it over and over and over again and by the way this is for notes you do it single notes or if you're doing power chords you can go ahead and apply the power chords and again this is all on the e in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to start taking a look at this on the A string. So uh, hopefully all that made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, get this down, start jamming along with the track, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, have a good one.